masquerade. Oh boy, it's been a minute. Hi everybody, fucking finally getting back to this, no longer being distracted and shit. So bum, bum, bum. All right, so let's go. Uh, so what we so the plan is now. Uh, oh god, I forgot how fucking banging the new Lavender Town theme is. Holy shit! So the plan is now. Uh, go get the self scope, and if I remember right, the department store is in the next town. We can get a Firestone for Vulpix, and we can go from there. And also, we got some trainers we gotta kill on the way. So well, that's a thing. What's a cute, round, fluffy Pokemon? Uh, I don't know, Jigglypuff in the new movie, which is ridiculous. Oh, Clefairy. I wouldn't say Clefairy's all that fluffy. But then again, it's hard to tell fur definition of Pokemon, isn't it? Alright. Fucking, I guess, kill it dead. Oh, wait, shit, it's fairy type. What's fairy weak to again? Steel, poison, and... What else? Alright, well I guess it dies regardless. Christ, that's ridiculous. That's for god damn ridiculous. Don't be mean to my Clefairy, then don't fucking throw it at me, bitch. Poison and steel, alright. Did I not name the Vulpix? I didn't. I got a male Vulpix. What should I call it? Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, shit. It's gonna turn into a Ninetales in a minute. Oh, no, it's Grandpa. I'm a rambling gambling dude. All right. Fireboy. No, real names. I like how he's got the dice. Holy shit. I guess Nintendo finally got to stick out their ass about showing gambling in children's games. All these guys had one Pokemon. Like, I'm trying to spread out the EVs. Okay, that's new. What the fuck? Fuck yeah, Sea King! Majima. Oh god, you know what? That might actually be... Jesus! And of course, the Sea King is just using Horn... The Sea King is just using Horn Drill, which is a one-hit KO move. And the only reason L survived it is because of... Bullshit... Love mechanics. Oh no... The, the, that is a fairly- that is a good gimmick, though. That is a good gimmick, though, fucking... I'm a gambler, I got- I put all my points into- into fucking defense, and just gave it one-hit kill moves. Eventually it'll hit. Fucking- that- that's- that is a good gimmick. I'll give him that. Okay. You know what? Yeah, no, I'm gonna call him Majima. Fuck it. We need we need some Yakuza representation here, and I can always change the name at any point. So whatever. Name is Majima. The Mad Dog of Shimano. Oh, there's another Vulpix. Oh, okay then. Okay then. Um, hang on. What's the best level to evolve a Vulpix? What does it learn? Uh, best level to evolve Vulpix. Oh! Oh! Uh, hang on. 
Well, apparently Ninetales doesn't lose- doesn't learn anything. Well, I mean... I mean, I can probably get it if I just went and played Pokemon Go. Um... What's the time to level it up? Okay, so it learns its last ability at level 31, which is Fire Blast. And right now, I'm sitting at level 21. So if I, if I can get it 10 more levels, it'll be good. So, alright, I guess we got, I guess, I mean, that saves me, that saves me some money. It saves me some months. So, I mean, alright. Let's put it up first. And see what we can do. I kinda wish I could just I had some XP shares, but that's fine. Cadabra! Oh no, it's a Cadabra! Whatever will I do? Oh yeah, it doesn't really have much in the way it moves, does it? Yeah, no, we need we need to learn Psy Blast. Fucking mm -hmm. Okay then. Playing it this way. Oh. God damn it. Why is everyone's Kadabra fucking kick ass except mine? Yeah, what I should I should just do it the same way I you I did it back in the day before XP shares was a thing. Just fucking yeet out the Pokemon I want to level, and then switch them out turn one into something stronger than it. Because fucking L can just kill everything with double edge. Yay, sue you! Macho. Oh, I can get that. Chinzet, I swear to God, if you fuck this up. I swear to God, Chinzet, you fuck this up. It's a goddamn macho. Like, it's a higher level than you, but not by much. Laser wing. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. Not by much, but you fucked it up. You failed the QTE. Oh, jeez. God, she looks like she's fucking ready to go. Holy shit. It's like, oh yeah. Beat up my Pokemon, daddy. Okay, so just just catch more, just catch more Volfixes. Level up. Go from there. God damn it! If I did, did Eevee or Eevee is even a thing in this game? I just realized most of your leveling comes from catching other Pokemon. So do do Eve do EVs even work? Bone Mer Yeah get in there. Get that fucking shit out of here. Bone Meringue. Like, like I, I don't I don't know. Just catch or just catch all these Eevees. Or Vulpix, whatever. Oh god damn it! Now 73 of these fucking Pokeballs, I'm just gonna eat them at your head. How much for an orange? How much for an orange capture rate? Oh god, why is. Majima not leveling up. Why is Majima not leveling up?
Though apparently, if you catch a lot of a type of Pokemon in a quick succession, like that combo ship, yeah, you get a higher chance for a Shiny to show up. So if a Shiny Eevee shows up, Shiny Eevee, if a Shiny Vulpix shows up at some point, fucking you bet your ass I'm grabbing that. Maj and Majima's getting renamed. Majima's going in the trash. Well, that was weird. Random house looking like, jeez. People are streaming, like, their house hunting? What? Can... what? That's weird. That's weird. We gotta, we gotta get Majima levels. Come on, give me some more Eevees! Or Eevees Vulpixes! I got a bunch of doubles, don't I? Oh, yes, I do! Might as well just change, send everything I'm not going to be using. I can't get rid of liquid! I can't. I, I gotta keep liquid! Unfortunately, didn't get me any candies I can use. Come on, throw up an- Yeah! House looking, looking at 50 million dollar house. What the fuck? The internet's weird. Why can't the internet go back to being shit poster, shit posting, shit postily? For fuck's sake. Give me the fucking combo. I wanna get I wanna get a shiny Vulpix. I wanna get a shiny nine tails. Wee. Fair enough. Oh god damn it! Get in the ball! I got 70 I got 70 of these fucking Vulca balls. Oh jeez. Hey! Shoji wants to learn bite. Alright. Bite him, Shoji! Alright, so... Come on. Catch combo 5. Come on. Sp spawn me to shot. Spawn me a shiny! Give me the shiny! Free! Fucking... There we go. I will get a goddamn shiny Vulpix. I will. Especially because it seems like Vulpix is just spawn every goddamn where here. And that or I'll run out of Pokeballs, which is fine because I got too many of these fucking red bastards.
Why are you the wrong color? I'll feed you into the goddamn wood chipper. I mean, at least they're easy to catch. They don't run around like assholes. Fifty seconds. Give me a room, friend. Jesus fucking Christ! That's a that's a that's a house someone lives in. What the fuck? Fucking no wonder millennials want to be communists. Fucking hell. The jealousy is real. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Also our ability to eat. I was like, I might just replace Majuron with this one. If, if this one's got better CP than Majima does. Like, by, like, a decent amount. Because it's, it's, got, it's got the level advantage already. Like, that's a CP advantage. It, there'll be some good shit and save me time. For fuck's sake! I mean, it seems pretty strong. Away. Okay, it wasn't there that- that was weird. There's a weird delay on that last throw. Fuck it. What? The ball hits you in the mouth. Fucking ball hit it in the mouth. God damn it, Mad. Majima's so weak. I mean, so is Shin Zet, so I mean... I mean, I should replace him with one of the other ones. So we've got level 22, level 24, 24. Okay, so what's Majima's CP at? Not great! Alright, so what about the other ones? Also not great. And this was a nature that boosts special attack. What the fuck? Have I paid the EV yet? I did before I started. Okay, so yeah, Majima's got better, uh, better stats, better IVs than them. So I guess it's just a matter of it beating a Vulpix. And Vulpix just isn't all that super great to start with. Um, come on, where's the other Vulpixes? I wanna get a sh- I wanna- Ah, uh, fuck it. Maybe I should just, like, shove candy in its mouth. I mean, here's hoping I can actually ride on the back of a Ninetales. 
Because that would be that'd be that's that's the goal. I want to get a Pokemon I can ride around. I can just ride around on like a horse, but not being a Ponyta. And there's no like I can get Arcanine in this version without trading like ten meows. This would be perfect for Shin Zed. Oh no. Half his attack, I guess. Jesus Christ! Like, oh man, fucking. Like, I love Vulpix, but. Christ, can it not take a hit? I am up. But then again, Kadabra's not much better. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, just fucking light him up. I mean, the thing is, I like normal Vulpix. Like, I'm not a big fan of Alolan Vulpix, you know? Like... Especially because, like, Alolan Ninetales looks kind of... Eh? Like, Ninetales has this kitsune thing going on with, like, the long tails that flutter about. Alolan Vulpix, all those, all those, like, big, beautiful, fluffy tails are all, like, curled up in on themselves. It just kind of just looks like a bigger Vulpix, and I'm like, mmm. Not a fan of that. Also, Ice isn't all that good of a type. Like, Ice has so many weaknesses, it's ridiculous. Like, like it's weak to, weak to fighting, it's weak to fire, it's weak to fucking... Christ, it, uh, fucking, isn't it weak to ground, too? Oh, yeah, no, it kills dragons. It kills dragons dead. But the thing is, so do dragons. And fairy types. So, like... I mean, fire's not the best typing either, but... Does Alolan Vulpix still get the, still get the Psychic type? I don't actually remember. Because if it does, then it's alright, but... Otherwise, not so much. Oh no, it's something my Eevee will never turn into. Yeah, ice, like, ice is good in PvE, but it's, it kind of just gets shit on by everything that's not a dragon. And it's like, could be good, but it's not. And they, and they say, Alexa played Despacito. Alright, let's try out Bone Meringue! Oh, really? You're a Jolteon, you're already faster than me, probably. Bone Meringue! But why? Yeah, and it hits again! Boom! It's almost as if Cubone's really good. Rocky on. Oh, jeez. I really think they should have, like, an EV for... Not every type, but most types. Like, a ghost-type EV would be fucking good. Like, cause I like the ghost-type. Ghost-type is pretty good. As long as it's not part poison-type, like, a pure ghost is pretty good. It beats Psychic, it's immune to fighting, it's immune to normal. Like... Like, what beats pure ghost? Hyper Delight! Like, like, what beats pure ghost? Because I actually can't think of anything. Like, uh, ex like uh, other ghosts. Like, on top of my head, that's the only thing that beats ghosts. Oh, Dark does? Okay. So, 
dark and other ghosts beat ghosts. So really, like, if the enemy sends out a ghost to fight you, like, they're switching into what's potentially a super effective move, so that don't work. And dark types have a lot of weaknesses of their own, like, say, fighting, and I'm pretty sure a lot of ghost types can learn fighting moves. For, like, at least something like Brick Break or Rock Smash or something to make up for the... make up for the difference. Like, Ghost is pretty good! Like, the main reason that Psychic was so strong in Gen 1 that it was that every single Ghost was part fucking poison, which defeated the purpose. Alolan Ninetales is Ice Fairy, so... No? Regular Ninetales is part Psychic. I swear it was. I swear to God, part regular Ninetales is part Psychic. It... Hmm... And even then, why does, why does fucking, like, if, if that's the case and they put fairy on it, why doesn't regular Ninetales get a fairy type? That's kind of dumb. Hi, Yuri! Like, like, why doesn't regular Ninetales, because it's a Kitsune. If anything, regular Ninetales should get the, should get the fairy type. Because it's literally a Kitsune. Tell that to Clefairy, Brutalite. Hi. Uh, thanks for the bits, fam. I still don't know what to call you, and I'm not calling you edgy. Because that's... Hmm. I ain't doing that. Glad, yeah. The thing is, he didn't like Glad. He didn't like Glad. Gladdy Daddy. As Momo likes to say. As fairy in the name. Fuck. Fuck, no, fuck me, fuck you! It is kind of annoying that I haven't run into anyone that's got, like, a full party yet. Like, that's kind of annoying. For fuck's sake! Like, give me a full team of six, goddammit! Aim for the bitch, yum yeah. Let's, um, get the Super Sucker out. Oh, I don't have any good potions. Shit. What a flying type EV look like. I imagine it would be... I imagine it looked like a flying squirrel. Yeah. Hooray for disposable income. Like... Like, you know how, like, flying squirrels have those membranes they can- they can throw out, you know? Like... I think that would be a good- a good idea for a flying-type Eevee. Like, an Eevee that kinda has, like, a flying squirrel kinda thing. Or they could get really retarded with it and make it some sort of Pegasus doll thing. But... You know what I mean, Yuri! You, you know what I mean, like with the like with the with the membranes. I I don't know what to call them. So like you just have like this Eevee and it's like a blue colored dog thing. And you're like, how's that a flying type? And then it does its attack animation and it jumps up in the air and does <laughs> skin flaps. Uh, what's this thing? What's this bitch thrown out? Fuck it, we'll send out Cubone. I, th I think regular Ninetales should have a fairy type ring. Unlike Tiny, this one can actually be kept at. What the hell is it? I don't actually. I don't have a way to see what it is until it gets here. I want Toby Kadachi to. Yes, I do. I want. I want Toby Kadachi to be the Eevee.
Like, honestly, I would kill for another evolution that's viable. Because right now... Like, bear in mind, it's been a while since I've even paid attention to fucking competitive Pokemon. But... I, right now, I think the only evolutions that are even viable are Umbreon, Espeon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon, and Sylveon. Those are the only those are the only ones that are viable. Flareon's garbage and has always been garbage. Leafeon is garbage. Fucking Glaceon's only thing is that it can fight dragons, but Sylveon does that better. Oh jeez. Fucking I don't even remember the other ones now, <laughs> shit. Like... Yeah, like, fucking... Like, most, like, most evolutions are garbage, and I, and they don't have to be. Can you stop throwing money at me? Like, a Steel-type Eevee would be good, but I still think, like, it should be... It should be a, a type that is useful, you know, like, like, is anything that a lot of Pokemon types are just kind of not great, you know, like, oh, for fuck's sake, this is gonna be a loop, isn't it? Like, a lot of, yeah, like, a lot of Pokemon types just aren't all that great, like, fucking, um, yeah, basically. Like, fucking, like, poison, like, poison's kind of come back into usefulness because it kills a uh, fairy without having too many weaknesses, except for, like, psychic. But at the same time, steel does that, too. Well, actually, no, steel has a weakness to rock, what am I, uh, ground, what am I talking about? And, like, steel is kind of there, but it's got weaknesses to earthquake, which, as far as I remember, is pretty ubiquitous to competitive. So, and fighting type, of course, gets blown up by psychics, and psychics are always in vogue. Or, like, someone's gonna have a psychic type. Like, a lot of Pokemon types just aren't all that great. And that's kind of upsetting. Like, ice... Ice could be good. Ice could have been good. Because it was the only type that, other than dragon that beat dragon. Right? But... Now Fairy exists, and Fairy doesn't have nearly the amount of weaknesses that Ice does. And the weaknesses of Fairy, like, it's Poison and Steel, which get blown up by fucking everything else. Like, Poison, oh, I say that, Poison gets blown up by Psychic, which a lot of psych, a lot of Fairy types are part Psychic. And, um, and Fairy gets blown up by, by Steel and Poison, and, and, and fucking... What am I talking about? And fucking poi- uh, just, whatever. Whatever, you know where I'm going with this. Honestly, I think Fairy- Fairy has a place. Fairy has a place. Because they made ice too shit. They needed something to offset- because before Fairy existed, every single team in competitive Pokémon, it was mandatory to have a dragon type. Because you needed something to kill the goddamn dragons. And also, you know, the fact that dragon has two weaknesses and one of them is itself. So, it, it's just an issue. Because, and also the fact that most dragons could learn fire type moves, which meant that... And also a lot of dragons, uh, and some dragons had fire typing. So you could get a stab fire move against an ice type, and the ice types... Effectiveness against your dragon is cut down to normal effectiveness. So, fuck you. You know, it's like. What do? Goblin Slayer of Bridge. What's the betting they fucking. they fuck it up? That's, that's something where I'm like, oh, you're abridging that, huh? Oh boy. Oh. What the fuck? Like, I always wanted to get into competitive Pokemon, but fucking just... Like, there's there's a lot of pe like, people there, it's, it's... 
the meta is so dumb. The fact that they have to break the meta down into tiers just kind of frustrates me. It's like, what if I have a favorite Pokemon? But because of how the meta works, I'm never going to get to use it outside of ne or never used, you know? Seven Deadly Schmucks. I never, I never actually saw that. I got it in its entirety. I I've seen clips of it, and, and it looked alright. Like, fucking... Like, imagine if you if, you, if there was a fighting game, right? And... Like, okay, imagine if in Street Fighter... Oh. What is it, Eevee? Oh, well, she wants to... She wants to... But, like, imagine... Imagine if, um... Nope. You want some tea. Yeah, but imagine if fucking, um... Like, you're playing Street Fighter, and you want to play Ryu. But someone comes up and says, Well, actually, you can't actually play Ryu in tournament because he's not meta. He's garbage. You're gonna have to pick from uh, Juri, uh, Saget, or Dan Hibiki. Those are the only three fighters you're allowed to play in the uh, Ubers tier of Street Fighter. Oh, you want to play Ryu? Well, you got to go down to never use. The, the prize pool is uh, one-third. You know, like, fucking... Like, imagine if, the, if, like, if they did that in any other fighting game. Like, fucking... Or, like, any other sort of competitive game. Like, it's just kind of, it's just kind of silly. And I don't know if that p speaks to, like, the community being kind of shit. Or if it's... Or if it's just a matter of Game Freak just doesn't know how to fucking balance... God knows how many billions of Pokemon they've fucking made. You know? Like... I'm trying to think of like a po of like a Pokemon that's like... That I like that's... That's not meta. And just... Is Lucario in the meta still? I'm gonna say he's not, but he might be. He's fighting Steel, but it doesn't mean he gets shit on by other fighting types, but eh. Mr. Pokeball? Wait, what? Like, my, my favorite Pokemon is Lucario. Oh. I didn't see he's at the bottom. It's an X defense. It's nothing. You know, like, if I can. Like, my favorite Pokemon is Lucario, and it's, and, and, like, fucking Lucario is fucking baller. Lucario is the, is the fucking bee's goddamn knees. And, like, if, if the meta doesn't favor Lucario, I can't fucking play him. Because I, because I literally won't be allowed to. I don't hate furries, I'm just not one. Some of my best friends are furries, I say as I load up the gas chamber. <laughs> no. Like... I don't hate furries, I'm just... not one? Like, I appreciate their community and some of my best friends are furries, but, like, I don't... Size are furry, and she's now an out furry. They're like, I the furry community are nice people. Like some of my best friends are furries. Fucking like I've jokingly made, I've jokingly fucking made a fucking werewolf version of Vix for giggles, like as a fucking joke. But, but not a furry. Don't go to conventions. Don't own a fur suit. Don't none of that shit. You know, it's like... You know, like fucking... I don't know. Oh shit, I fucked up. I didn't mean to do that. But, um... 
Oh yeah, Ty Rogue's fucking great. The pity is evolution's not great. Like, like Ty Rogue. Sorry, Ty Rogue doesn't even eat, doesn't evolve, does he? Or does he? Shit. Yeah, yeah, like, Bennett's cool. Does, does Tyrogue evolve? Yeah, I can't actually remember right now. I want to say he does. Like, I want to say he evolves into one of the Hitmons. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, so Hitmon, so Tyrogue, it evolves into, okay. So Tyrogue, it evolves into, like, Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, or fucking Hitmon Top. But the thing is, like, it's one of those evolutions where you look at the line and you go, okay, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck? Like, nothing of Tyrogue's design uh, persists into um, persists into the Hitmons. Like it doesn't look like Hitmon Chan. It doesn't look like Hitmon Lee. It doesn't look like Hitmon Top. Like it, do it doesn't even have the same fucking skin color. Evolves. Evolves based on. I didn't know that. I thought it was random. So like what? Like if it's high defense, it evolves into Hitmon Chan. High attack, it evolves into. Uh, Hitmon Lee, something like that. Oh god, getting Hitmon top must be a pain in the fucking ass. Holy shit. Oh my god, stop spamming Earthquake, you fucking bitch. Magic has three Tyros in a row, each grant for their respective hit on. Alright. Like, getting them identical. I mean, I guess it's easier with. I guess it's easier with, um. This? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, spinning on your head is balanced. Like, Seal is ice type, right? I just realized I might have made a mistake. Nope, it's water type. <laughs> I got all these Gen 1 Pokemon I haven't seen in so goddamn long I forgot their fucking typings. Oh, jeez. Alright, see you, kill it. Yeah, do go yeah, do gongs where it gets the ice type. Try that shit when it's stabbed, friend. I love the animation for Vine Whip. I, I wish the vines and stuff like were attached to the Pokemon. Cause they do like like for ranged attacks like side beam and all that they do really good work for physical attacks like vine whip and all that like like I kind of wish they'd show the vines coming out of the Pokemon or something like that you know. Honestly, I've I've got the opposite issue because I've been playing the new the new gens. I've been having issue remembering some of the more um, like tucked away Pokemon. Like, fucking, like, like, seal. Like, how often do you fucking see a seal? Like, if it's something that's like, oh, yeah, no, you see that, 
you see that a lot because it's a popular Pokemon and it's something that keeps coming back. Yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, no, I got that off the top of my head, but like fucking stuff like Seal. How often do you fucking see Seal? Like, who gives a shit about Seal? Or Dugong? That's what I thought too. See? Hooray! Thank you, Majima! I wish I could put an eye patch on my on my Vulpix. My nose itches, dude. What is... Oh, that's the building. Hello, friend. What the fuck is wrong with you? Now we fight and assemble a call to battle. Yes. Alpesh. The fuck kind of name is that? Is you tired? You might be. Probably should have healed first, huh? Ah, oh, well, Majima can't fight this anyway, so... Get out here, Al! Ooh, gong, 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 gong. Ooh, gang, 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 gang! Ooh, gong! Ooh, gong! Why does Facade do that much fucking damage at full health? Facade's supposed to do more damage the more injured you are. And also, if you have a thing. So yeah, now it's gonna do a bajillion damage. Yep, there it is. Okay, why did it do less damage? Fucking... Some of the Pokémon had really bad voice acting. Yeah! Flamethrower! Get that shit out of here. Once Majima hits level 31, like, you're gonna see some serious shit. Wiggly tough. Alright, I'll send out, uh, Cube. Oh, I never named Cubo. What, guys, what should I name Cubone? What should I, what should I name Cubone? And no, before anyone brings it up, this might just be a Florida thing, I am not calling it Kaylee Anthony. I don't know if that's just a Florida meme. Kanji? Wait, okay, what gender is Miss fucking Cubone? The boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'll call it Kanji. I could have called it Shinji. Goblin Slayer. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, I don't have any fucking food. Um. Fucking Wigglytuff. Discount Chancy ass. He never takes his helmet off. Okay, I mean, like, okay, Goblin Slayer is strong and so is Kanji because Boner. Uh. Well. Can rip Shinzette. Well, fuck. There's already not everyone counts as Goblin Slayer. Oh shit, also, I'm gonna get a Hitmon. A hit one soon, aren't I? Shit, I'm gonna have to decide. I'm gonna have to just fucking. I'm gonna have to ditch someone. Oh god. Guess no one's getting experience for this one.
Oh, shit! Alright, fucking kill him, Shinzet! Fucking... Alright! Did not expect Shinzet to pull that out! Alright! I guess Shinzet is stronger than I thought! <laughs> Holy shit! I'm gonna stop talking shit about Kadabra. Even though Alakazam is a better Pokemon. But I don't have anyone to trade with, so... Fuck. Fucking Shinzet, Shinzet, strong lady. What's the matter? Can't stand the sight of a strong, strong psychic woman. Oh god! If I can just get Majima level thirty-one, like, oh boy, because at level, like at level thirty-one, it learns Fire Blast, and then when it evolves, it learns Dazzling Gleam which is a fairy-type move. Oh! Oh, it's the pedophile again. Glitzy glow, what? Psychic move? The user bombards the target with telekinetic force. It once wall-lights put weak in the power of opposing Pokemon's special moves. Nani? All these moves are 90. Okay, so what? It, so we so we have psychic coverage technically, but I want to see what the fuck this does. The, the only thing we don't have coverage for is electricity, so I guess Sizzly Slide can get out. And what's the other one? Batty Bad. What? Dark type. User acts bad and attacks the target. It fucks up their physical moves. Alright, Bouncy Bubble is decent. Ah, fuck it. It doesn't really need the healing move. Well, now we got water coverage. It's fine. So we've got Offensive Reflect and Offensive Light Screen. Well, shit. I'm wondering what these are. Like, what these look like. What the fuck? Seriously, though, like, these names. These fucking names, dude. Rock! Hey! I didn't expect to run into you here. I'm here. I'm here molesting the Nurse Joyce. I'm back from visiting the Celadon City Gym. Keeping in touch with other gym leaders is part of our duties, after all. Yeah, that is. The girls at that gym all turned me away for some reason, though. I just have some pewter crunchies. I brought them as a gift to the gym here. I love how the fucking anime made made Brock a fucking sexual predator, and the and the games have just run with it. Like seriously, like in the original games, Brock was like this big, like bad dude. He's like, yes, I am the rock type man. Ha ha. But in the anime, he's a fucking sexual predator, and now everything just runs with it. Like, shit. Uh, was he this bad in yellow? Because I don't remember. I don't remember Brock being a fucking predator in... Celadon Condominiums. Oh, you fucking checking out with your baby mama? Oh, this is the woman that fucking, like, has the meow- has- abuses the economy. Oh my god, they changed it. But, yeah, this is a remake of Yellow, though. They fucking changed it in- in gen- in red, I remember. She said, Ew, I don't have a job, and I keep rent low. 
I used my meow. She had like 20 fucking meows. I used my meows with payday to pay the rent. Like she just admits the fucking fucking counterfeiting. Just fuck. Someone in here will give me a TM, I'm pretty sure. Let me heart attack. Oh shit. What the fuck? Te 23 million. Who the fuck pays that much for a house? I mean, it's either counterfeiting or theft. Either way. Oh. I'm a graphic artist. I'm the one who designed you. They could have just given them the names. I mean, I'm a programmer. Look at all these fucking Nintendies. I'm the game director. I'm very happy you're playing this game. Love filling up your Pokedex. You collect all the Pokemon. Let me know. I wrote the story. Hey, tell me. Do you, uh, don't you think Erica is cute? Well, I guess we know why there's so many female gym leaders. So fucking water slip. I like look at the poster for Leaf Green and Fire Red! Look at that shit! Okay, why didn't they just call it fucking like Aqua Blue when it came when they did the remake? Why'd they need to make Leaf Green? Who the fuck? Who the actual fuck picks Bulbasaur? Like seriously, who picks Bulbasaur? Everyone I knew when when I was a kid. They would just, like, they would get up with, together with their fr friends. Yeah, on fucking, like, when, when fucking Leaf Green, when they started a new Leaf Green thing. And they'd fi or Leaf Fire Red. And they fucking get, get their friends to fucking pick Bulbasaur, trade it to them, and then restart their game. Nobody picks Bulbasaur. Fucking Squirtle is best. Squirtle is best. Squirtle, squirt! I'll squirt, I'll squirt in your fucking mouth! Alright, so on the f the Bulbasaur, you damn it. Fuck you! Squirtle the best! Squirtle! Okay, that guy's trying to steal my fucking Eevee, fuck you. might make your girlfriend- That guy is fucking a Pokemon. That man is fucking a Pokemon. That man browses too much Pokeporn. Uh, they don't sell them here, but I've heard there are many stones called Mega Stones out there somewhere. Hey, man. All I'm saying is... Get you a girl that squirtle squirts! Uh, ice- oh, for fucking... For fucking making Leafy on and- and fucking the Glaceon, right? You know what? I wouldn't mind having a Glaceon. I mean, I got like plenty of Eevees in my fucking pocket, so... Yeah, let me just rub this ice stone. Like, let me just see what it says. Compatible? Like, I should save first, just in case. Cause... Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Oh wait. Oh wait, no, I don't think you can get Glaceon in this game, because it didn't exist yet. The Jolteon would be better. And I already have a Vaporeon on my phone, so... Uh, 
L doesn't seem to like it. L's like, get that fucking shit out of my face, man, shit. Uh... Darwin in a box? 50 bucks. Little bows? Yo, hook me up, fam. Hook me fucking up. Can you see all of me? <laughs> Little did you know, Eevee is already an edgelord. Alright, I, I gotta I gotta take this hat off. I gotta take this hat off her. Hat Remove Yes Oh I forgot about the cowlick! I can put more More bows Yes I want it on the chest. Yes! Bandanas. Sailor bandana, ruby bandana, emerald. What's the sailor one look like? No, flowers are for flowers are. It's a boy, Evie. It's a boy, Evie. Damn it. Dumb. That's not a fucking bandana. Glasses. My Eevee can wear glasses. No, fucking can't do that. No, no, that's that's too far. Diglet cat. Okay, I need to see this. Oh my fucking god. Let's put a little diglet on her head. Ah! No, that's kind of, that's dumb though. No, but that's dumb. I, I need to go get money. I need to go get polka dollars. <laughs> Fucking Eevee. Fuck. You know what? No, they'd call it Shin Eevee or something like that. Shin Eevee. True Eevee. And it would just be gold colored. Hey, buy a Nintendo Switch, you fuck! It's a sports game, I bet Dad would like that if he ever came back. Pure white. Oh god, you know what? Yeah, no, pure white. That'd be that'd be a thing. But then if you have then Glaceon though. Glaceon's white. Yeah, it could be gold, like going Super Saiyan. Alright, 
Alright, so what's up here? Back from the TM shop. Alright, what we got? Hyper Beam! Is it? I could never tell. Alright, let's get some fucking bowls. Hey, come here, ball. Potions? Load up the super soaker. And that'd be it. Blindingly white. Oh, jeez. It's like Eevee has a special ability where it fucking immediately lowers the accuracy of everyone that sees it, including the trainers. Good thing come good things come to those who nap. I didn't know that Erica was a fucking narcoleptic. Alright. Well So Uh Oh. Oh that's the guy who, t who teaches soft boiled. Ah uh, yes, the Rocket Game Corner! Certainly this can never go wrong! We just beat Arceus. Gee, I wonder if Team Rocket owns this place. There, come on, almost got it! Ah, so close! Come on, Jesse, why do we have to head- why don't we head to the hideout now? Well, we're already handed over the Q-Bone to another Team Rocket member. Let's hire take a little break. Just to keep the... How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? Do you check the poster with a vehicle on it? This is the vehicle is the best way to represent us. Oh, jeez. I wonder what it is. Maybe it's the one with the Team Rocket member in front of it. Can I gamble? I swear to God, let me gamble. Ah! Why can't I gamble? Evie, why can't I gamble? Tell me why I can't gamble, Evie. I don't have a coin purse. You! Let me gamble! The ESRB can suck my cock. Fuck the ESRB for make for taking gambling out of games. Tell me to go away and start to battle. Okay, fuck chocolate. Go, Majima, use stab. What kind of move is stab? And the fuck. Jesus! And the fucking Vulpix just has a fucking knife. Shanks the goddamn. Radicate. Go, Kanji. Just imagine a Vulpix doing that fucking heat move I was talking about with Majima last night. Where, like, he throws the knife in the air and goes, Buddy, 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 buddy! And then just fucking kicks it into your fucking ribs.
Use urban violence. Wow, that did nothing. Fucking back him. That's right, location of Team Rocket Hideout is gonna be discovered! I better tell the boss. Jeez, I wonder. I wonder where it is. No, we're just sandbagging it. You know what? That's not wrong. The first Pokemon to actually... All we need now is for a Pokemon with a gun. Like, it's not even like a Pokemon, it's just a regular animal carrying a gun. Yes, it is, and it's a pain in the ass. Fucking... You guys ever see that fucking video of, like, the fucking, like, African soldiers that... Well, African soldiers. Fucking fighters, whatever the fuck. And they see a chimpanzee wander up to them. And they jokingly give the chimpanzee an AK-47. And within about... I'm gonna say three minutes, the chimpanzee has figured out how to rack it. Chimpanzee has figured out how to rack it. And where, how the trigger works. And the, the loud noise from the other end kills people. And they're chased off by a chimpanzee with an AK. And at the end, the chimpanzee lifts it over his head like... Ah, ah, ah. Imagine... Imagine that that's just a Pokemon. It's just a fucking chimp or something with a fucking AK. I like to imagine that that chimpanzee went off to become an African warlord. Like, that chimpanzee... Right now, he's an African warlord. He's just running a group of fucking child soldiers. And he's probably one of the most successful. No, it's not Brutalite, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. And Mankey's a real poke. A Mankey, Mankey's got super strength. And the shitty thing about Mankey's, if you ever evolve it, you're dooming it to a, to a fucking, uh... You're dooming it to death by heart attack. Mankey with a gun, yes. Yeah. Evolving your Mankey is dooming it to death by rage-induced heart attack. How fucked is that? I am. Let me... I actually kind of want to find that now. Chimpanzee is an AK-47. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna link it in the chat. I think this is it. Yeah, some of the Gen 1 po uh, evolutions are fucking busted. Like, Paris isn't even a Pokemon. Paris is a poor bastard crab. It gets taken over by a fucking mushroom. The mushroom is the Pokemon. Like, fuck. Jesus! You know what? Like, that would actually be a really cool thing for them to do with Mankey. If they put in a, um... If they put in a thing where it's like, if you evolve it while it's carrying... Uh, a Soothe Bell, for example. Right? You know, if it, if it, if it evolves, if you, if you make a Mankey evolve with a Soothe Bell. Like, it becomes like, like a fucking calm... It could become a fucking part psychic type. Like, that would be fucking cool. 
You, you just had a fucking Pokemon that was half fighting, half psychic. That would be neat. So, I mean, like, what, what would it be called, though? Because a primate is primal ape, and it's angry. What would what would you call like a fucking a a, a, a chill out evolution kind of thing, huh? Like, what would you what would you call that? Sage ape or something? Chile. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think I think you'd want to have the, the ace part in it, so like it's still there because the pun still has to be there. You still have to have monkey into ape. Oranguru. Now Oranguru is not psychic type, is it? I don't know. It's like, evolving a Mankey into something that's not fucking dooming it to early death. I don't know, that just sounds like something that you probably want. Especially if it gets part Psychic type, because psych Psychic fighting types are fucking broken. Like, Medicham is goddamn impossible in early game Emerald. I think Oranguru is from Sun and Moon. Oh, it's, it's normal set. Yeah, but like fucking like this, what I'm talking about here would be fighting psychic, so it'd be actually useful. Oh, Configuroth is so sad. Like it starts off lazy, and then it like gets super hype, and it's like yeah, 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 and then it evolves, and it's like you know what? I'm just gonna sleep forever now. And it's like, hmm. What? No, you're too sure to be a real grunt. They figure out you're in disguise immediately. Did I just get? Did I just get a Team Rocket costume? Oh yeah, no, slacking hits like a fucking truck, but still. Prepare for trouble! And make it double. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all people within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To declare our... <laughs> To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse! James! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it doesn't really... The T's don't really work for Eevee, do they? Yeah, it's too short. That's how they know. It's how, they, it's how they know I'm not really Team Rocket. Uh, Team Rocket blasts up at the speed of light. Surrender now and prepare to fight. Meow, that's right. Remember that time in the Pokemon anime where, if in the Japanese dub, Meow? fucking does a Jojo pose and says Muda 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 and then they cut it out of the fucking dub because it was because little kids don't get Jojo references I remember what isn't isn't gold bat but part bug But yeah, fucking, like, Meowth did muda 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 muda, and they fucking cut it out of the dub. They even did the fucking pose. Golbat is pure poison. Well, shit. 
They only dress in white because they didn't get the- Wait, that's why? That's why Jesse and James dress in white? Holy shit, that's fucking great. I didn't know that. Oh, jeez. I was- well, I always wondered, it's like, why do they dress in white? And I just figured it was a meta thing. Like, oh, it's because, like, they're important. Uh, James, you know James never got rid of them titties. He just deflated them. So whenever he needs them, he just gets out the pump and goes... <laughs> Oh, James is, a, James is a fucking great Pokemon trainer. He's just surrounded by idiots. Like, James... Like, honestly, I, th I think if James quit Team Rocket, he could become champion. Like, J like James is literally being held down by fucking Jesse. As, and Team Rocket, I guess. Uh, well, also, James doesn't like seeing his Pokemon fight. So I imagine they're probably not training. Which means that the only real combat experience they have is losing to Ash. Oh look, it's the Rapist Pokemon. The Cosm of the Team Rocker one. Hey, they don't want to eat his face, they just want to give him a hug. With their mouths. You know, I want to see what this, what this baddie bad does. Like, I want to see, I want to see James, I want to see James fucking, like, actually, like, I, I want to see a thing where James goes off and actually becomes a proper Pokemon trainer. Jesus fuck mother in Christ. That looks really cool. Don't get what the being bad does, but all right. And that, I think Eevee just fucking like turned into fucking particulate matter for a minute there. I, I think James's main weakness is he doesn't like his Pokemon to be. He doesn't like to see his Pokemon hurt. Which means he never battles unless he absolutely has to. And the only time he absolutely has to is when Ash is around. So I, I think that's I think that's his thing. I think that's his thing. He just needs to like re realize that Pokemon like tr Pokemon like fighting. I I think that's what James has to realize. Yeah. Uh, he got all like t he got all like tied up by his victory bell. A lot in his carnivine. I mean, also James kind of does has the same problem that Ash does, in that he keeps letting his best Pokemon go. Like he keeps letting his best Pokemon go, and I, and I, I never understood that. Like. Like, like, it's, it's, like, supposed to be like, oh, yeah, go back to the wild! But the thing is, Pokemon in, I don't want to say in captivity, because they're literally not, but Pokemon that are in balls are literally ten times happier than Pokemon in the wild. Like, Pokemon want to get caught. Like, fucking, like, there's a, uh, like, like even in games, like, there's this, whenever you have to speak to, like, a guy who measures your Pokemon's, like, affection for you. Like, a big theme is that your Pokemon will, what well, your Pokemon will say, or the guy will say that your Pokemon is saying, that all the wild Pokemon you run into that you don't catch are super fucking jealous. Yeah, where the fuck is James's Arcanine? Yeah. There needs to be an episode, like, maybe, like, with a time skip. Like, if, 
Now, you can't do too long, but like, like a three-month time skip where James said, All right, fuck Team Rocket, I'm off. And he like, he just starts doing gyms. He just does gyms. And he comes back to Jet- he comes back to fight Ash in the tournament, like, at the end. And he's the best fucking trainer ever. Like, I think, honestly, like, Jesse and James should quit Team Rocket. Like, like, and be replaced with Butch and Cassidy, because... Like, I haven't seen too much- I haven't watched the new Sun and Moon anime. So, I don't know what's up. But... Like... They've kind- I feel like they've kind of run their course. You know? Yeah, like, like, they, they're, they're kind of at a point where just villain decay is in full force. And because of the villain decay, they've kind of looped around to people you sympathize with. Like, I like Jesse. I like James. Fuck, I even think Meowth is really cool. But the villain decay is so real, and they never really get anything for them. Like, and when they do... It's because they're not around Ash. The best episodes with Team Rocket in him are the ones where it's just Team Rocket hanging out. Like, I would fucking love, like, a fucking... Uh, a fucking spin-off. Where, like, it's just Jesse and James doing their own adventure. Like, fucking... Like, that would be... That'd be the dankest shit. Like, it, like, it, like, like, they could call it, like, Pokemon Rocket or something. And it would just be, like, Jesse and James quitting Team Rocket. Oh, fuck, that'd be good. Like, James just disappears for, like... Oh, I just realized, like, I don't know, like, how the Sun and Moon anime is doing it, because I don't watch the anime anymore, but... Imagine, because, like, in, you know, in, in, in Sun and Moon, there's no gyms. So imagine if James just does the challenges, because the challenges aren't around pure martial Pokemon skill. They're based around, like, caring for your Pokemon and giving a shit and being a decent person. He passes them all with flying colors. And, like, he's the champion at the end of the fucking season. Like, he just kind of disappears for a few episodes. And, and like, next time you see him, it's the end, and he's fucking winning. Like, I don't even really want them to return, because, like, like, they're too much of, they're, they're, they're characters now, you know? Like, like, oh god, what, 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 what am I trying to say here? So, like, the best, some of the best anime villains are villains that, like, you can identify with, and they're a threat, but, but, like, they're not too endearing, you know? Especially in something like Pokemon, where the hero has to always win. You know what I mean? Like, Ash always has to win. Ash can never lose, because it's a shonen for children. Right? Snack! But... Like, if it was an anime where the heroes were allowed to lose, then it would be good to have po good to have people like Jesse and James that are affable and and likable. You could have a likable villain if the villain was allowed to win sometimes. But because they're not, like it's just kind of oh fuck. You know what? That'd be good. Like if they go straight and they become Ash's friends for a season, that would be good. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe they should switch off, switch off and like have Butch and Cassidy be the main villains for a bit and just have a spin-off anime with them. With with uh, Jesse and James. Yeah, but they, that never happens anymore. Like, the, like, in the original anime, Ash was allowed to lose, but nowadays, for some reason, he's not allowed to, and I don't know why. Alright, um, let's get Will-O-Wisp on him. Well, that's not great.
Yeah, he's only allowed to lose at the end of the series when he loses in the Elite Four. Like... Like, it kind of... It's kind of why I stopped caring so much after Sinnoh. Like, I'd watch it every now and again, like, with Black and White and all the other ones like that, but I wouldn't follow it religiously. I think the most complete I've watched is X and Y, and that's because I needed something to watch on Netflix in the background. Like, that's, that's literally it. And in that one, like, every episode was, Oh, Serena wants to get Ash's dick inside her. Oh, here comes Team Rocket, and they've lost. And occasionally you'd have episodes that were just Team Rocket, and it would be fucking neat. And it, and it would be, like, really great. Like, the fucking episode where they, they fucking fight against the evolved form of James's octopus thing and realize that when it evolves, it's going to become a fucking evil bastard. Who's still a frontier? Ash is a frontier brain? I'm gonna admit, I don't remember the battle frontier. Like, I really don't. Have I seen the game through on Ash's age? The one where Matt Pat says that he wished he wished on ho -Oh that he wouldn't age until he became a Pokemon Master. And so he's purposefully throwing the tournament so he doesn't become a Pokemon Master. That one. That fucking stupid thing. When it's never shown that ho -Oh actually grants wishes. Kanji! Like, ho -Oh doesn't actually grant wishes. Like, everything MatPat says is based on a fucking surface of, of a surface knowledge of, of what he's talking about. He doesn't actually look. Yeah, exactly. Fucking straight up, if they if they, really, if they replaced Team Rocket with the fucking team of the region, and like Jesse and James were just kind of off doing their own thing, and you just occasionally have Adv like, them having their own adventures breaking off from Team Rocket. Like, that would be fucking great. Matt Pat making a good video? That's not possible. Fuck's sake. Majima, evolve already! Fuck! Or get level 31 already. Shit. Oh, fuck. Ash is a frontier brain. Holy shit. So that totally throws Matt Pat's theory out the fucking window because technically he did become a Pokemon Master. He just kept going to become Pokemon Masters in different area codes. Oh, jeez. Get fucked, Matt Pat. Better not good. There you go. What is it, Evie? Seems L caught the scent of someone getting murdered. Okay, so there's that down there. So at level 31, Vulpix learns all of its moves. At level 31, Vulpix learns, uh, learns Fire Blast, and that's the- and that's it. It doesn't learn any more moves until it evolves into Ninetales, where it learns Dazzling Gleam. Which is a fairy move, and... I'm down for that. Already t I- I looked it up on- on the Let's Go thing. On, like, according to the Let's Go site, 31, it learns Fire Blast. Oh, you mean the cursed season. Fucking hang on. Yes, let me just 
Pokemon, let's go full pigs. Learn set. Yeah, according to Game Facts. Yeah, according to Game Facts, the last move it learns is level 31, it learns Fire Blast. And then. Yeah, and then that's and that's that's it. I mean, Vulpix is kind of shit, so keeping it until level 42, like, that's a, that's a fucking endeavor. So, I mean, lowering it to 31, like, that, you know what, I'm fine with that. Because the quicker it gets to be nine tails, the better. Fucking rocket hideout takes an eternity. Damn it, I gotta get over there. I have to get over there. Oh wait, can I just go around it? Am I being retarded again? Nope, I am not. Yet. I mean, at least I'm not missing an item. Real talk, though? I'm, I like the redesign they did for the female rocket grunts. I'd smash that. Like the short red hair and the fucking mini skirt. Like, nah, what? I'm down. I'm down. I'm down to clown. Can't tell me that's not good looking. Nintendo's good at one thing, and it's making girls with fat asses. How will you save Nintendo? Fucking like, look at every look, look at every single game that's come out on Switch, and look at the female characters. Like. No, it's not even Game Freak. Look at every single Nintendo game that's come out on the Switch that has a female character in it. And, like, fucking Breath of the Wild. Fucking ARMS. Goddamn, uh, Splatoon. Every single fucking game Nintendo has put out on the Switch has female characters with fat asses and nice titties. Like, fucking... Like, how will you save Nintendo? With anime titties. Fucking, like, I ain't complaining, but still. <laughs> Fucking Twintel, Marina, Zelda, the t female Team Rocket Grunt. Fucking, give me time to look over the fucking Nintendo Switch catalog and I can find more. Fucking Jesus. I forgot how, lo how long the fucking rocket hideout takes. Fucking hate Hyperfang. So goddamn much. Oh, dude, I can't fucking wait for Fire Emblem. Being able to play a fucking waifu game on the big screen or on my handheld? Fucking yes! And here's hoping this time they don't take out the weird Japanese bullshit. Like how in fucking Fates they took out being able to pet your waifu on the head. The thing is you can also pet your husbando on the face. So I mean, at least it was- at least it was egalitarian. Like fucking people wanna people wanna pat their waifus on the face? Let them do it. People wanna see their waifu's titties? Let them do it. I need more waifus, check general. Oh jeez. Oh god. Valkyria oh, Chronicles. Oh you guys you guys are gonna make me fucking play that, aren't you? Oh no. Like, that first game was- was a train wreck, just a little bit. 
Like, one thing that I can't wait... Uh, that I that I just can't fucking wait for and... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Like, like, fucking... Like, you, you guys remember when I played the original fucking Valkyria Chronicles, right? Like, and just, like, I got to that level with the fucking lady sniping me from the top of a castle and doing all my damage, all my health in one hit. Fuck that. Fucking, like, I can't wait for, for, for Switch Fire Emblem, though, because it's finally going to do what I always imagined Fire Emblem was. Because it never made sense to me that your army was, like, six dudes. Like, your, your army going into a battle is six dudes. So in my brain, I always kind of justified it with, oh, no, though that's not your army. That they're just your commanders, and they're com and and you're giving them orders to give to their to give to their soldiers, and when they die, it's because they've been wiped out. Like their their health is just the amount of dudes they have left, and so when they die, it's because they've been wiped out to a man, and that seems to be what they're doing for Fire Emblem Switch, because you see, like you got your commanders, but when you move them around, they've got all these guys moving with them. And that is pretty good. So like, and when you paired them up, it was the two companies working as one. So when they stop damage, it's because the other the other platoon fucking came in from the side and interrupted the attack. Well, yeah, like in the older versions, but like in. Uh, Awakening and, and Awakening was my first was my first Fire Emblem game that I actually beat. Remember, like in 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 Awakening and all that, like they talk as if they talk as if there's more people, there's more soldiers and stuff. And he just yeeted that thing onto the fucking roof. Oh hi Jesse, hi James. He just yeeted that fucking lift key onto the roof. What the fuck? Can I like climb on these boxes? So this is where I go over here and No? Okay, I gotta find a way to get Eevee up there. No? I mean and that would explain why Valk is shit, he can't command his soldiers properly because he's an idiot. Oh, just Yeet Eevee into the, into the vent. About this chair. Get that key that the- Oh, I'm- I'm controlling- I'm controlling Eevee. Where did that Cubone come from, boss? Man, Two of my underlings said to bring it here without my permission. Cubone's head is very beautiful. I'll be able to sell for a good price once it becomes a Marowak. Oh, hi, Giovanni, you fucking shit heel. <laughs> fucking Noe's company follows her orders because they're scared they'll go, they'll go to jail if they don't. Did you hear something just now? I did, there's definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? <laughs> Meow, that's right. Must just been Meow's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing, Meow, you shit heel. The fact that Meow doesn't talk kind of frustrates me. It does look like Cyrus, doesn't it? But I think it's just one of the rocket admins. I think it's just one of the rocket admins. I 
I just remembered. You guys remember how, like, Cyrus looks like a fucking grandpa? Like, apparently Cyrus is canonically 24 years old. Oh yeah, fucking, a, a, a fucking, uh... A fucking Manakiti is probably, like, a, doesn't even need, like, soldiers. It probably is just, like, a thing by itself. Yeah, the Mon Monokiti is probably just a thing. Where was that elevator? I don't actually remember where it is now. Hypercompetent. Oh god. Oh no. Why would you bring that evil here? I don't remember where the elevator was. Here it is. Hi, Donut, what's up? Hey, an elixir I'm never gonna use. Yay! You, you were that, you're that twerp from Mount Moon! How am I gonna follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? I wanna join Team Rocket. Really? You certainly do show potential, though you're not nearly as beautiful as me. Wait a minute, you're trying to No, let me join Team Rocket! Doesn't matter, there's nowhere letting you through to see the boss. Oh, jeez. What my plan to rise through the ra So, Psychoroni, have you have you read or seen JoJo Part 5? Because that. That would be my plan. Because Team Rocket is just about as incompetent as most of Passion. I love how James has the fucking rose in his mouth when he throws the ball. Like, fuck. That's good. Alright. Um, 32. Okay, so we have... Probably shouldn't have Majima out, all things considered. Jinzet can go. Yes! Because, like, Team Rocket, like, think about how incompetent... I'll keep this to, like, what's been released in the anime. Like, think about how incompetent Pulpo is. Pulpo is about the same level as com of competent as most members of Team Rocket. The only competent member of Team Rocket is Giovanni. Just like Passion, where the only really competent member is fucking, um... Fuck! Is, is fucking Diavolo. Alright, so I need to get that wheezing out of here. And... Let's just do that. Laser beam! How about you fucking stop? Jesus! This is gonna go great! Kinda wish Bone Meringue would hit multiple people, but... That's eh, fine. Oh shit, that's the wrong one. Well, shit. Oh, and Suyu's almost dead. Um... Alright, let's use a revive... ...on Shinzat.
I mean, mostly, like, I want to switch in... Switch in L. Well, now I can't. I want to switch in L, but I had to keep Shin Z up. God damn it! It's not so much I'm under-leveled, it's more such so, like I caught these guys with such a big level difference, and this game is really bad at letting you fuck- at, at telling you, hey! Uh, not telling you, but like, giving you chances to level people up. Because so many- like, unlike in the original game, most of these carrot most of these trainers you fight only have one fucking Pokémon. Like, which is fine for early game, but by this point in yellow... By this point in yellow, everyone you fought had at least four, maybe five Pokémon. Of course I did. Of course I did. Hopefully this Oh god damn it. Yay. Alright, so showed you got level 29, that's fine. Uh, okay, well, Bone Meringue will work. And we'll use a potion just to make sure it goes out. Um, did I run out of potions again? I did not, but that's not the one I want to use. Shit. I'm not, I'm not, I have no way to get him a champ. And either way, I wouldn't use it anyway, because my champ is garbage. But I was so confident this time! Oh, Poor James. I'm furious. You only go to your head just because your Pokemon were a teeny bit stronger. You did defeat us in battle, still bigger and stronger than you. He's brute force to. My e He's. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! He just threatened a fucking 10 year old and then he got scared off by an Eevee. Holy shit. F you know what? I agree with Psychronia. Why? No. Why would I- why would I get the Pokeball with Mew in it, when I can't do anything with it? Like... Like, I can't transfer it to Pokebank, I can't do anything with it. Like, unless they bring Pokebank to Switch. And even then, like, this game uses this weird CP system, instead of EVs, so... I don't know how it would work. Oh, come on. Yeah, that doesn't negate anything I said. Like, it, it's just one of these that's round. Like, there's no... Like, I have any baby Pokemon. So, like, like Pichu and Cleffa and shit. I don't actually remember what counts as a baby Pokemon other than Cleffa and Pichu. Igglybuff is one, isn't that? Like based just off of the ones I remember, I'd probably say I'd probably say um, Pichu because it evolves into Pikachu, and kind of electric type is usually pretty decent. But Cleffa, 
Oh wait, no, I'm a fucking retard. No, Azumarill. Azumarill is one. I I would pick Azum I would pick Azumarill because fucking Or not Azumarill. Whatever the thing that evolves into fucking The thing that evolves into Marill, which evolves into Azumarill. Azarill? Yeah, Azarill. I would I'd pick Azarill so I could get an Azumarill, because Azumarill is fucking broken. Oh, Blissey's good too. Fucking Like the shitty thing with the with the baby Pokemon is that they're really hard to remember because they're so goddamn useless until they evolve. But by the time they evolve, you're not thinking about the baby Pokemon, you're thinking about the badass they evolved into. So it's like, well shit. Alright, well let's before so before this stream ends, I want to get the Sylph Scope, and I want to get... I want to see Cubone meet up with his mom, because I want to see how they put that into a cutscene. So... Well, that'll take, like, an extra 30 minutes. Oh, fuck! Wait, does Ry Ryolu count as a baby Pokémon? Do I have Shinies yet? No, and I don't much care for Shinies. Cause shiny- cause shinies usually have shit stats. Like, with very rare exceptions. And I know how to get a shiny, you just gotta catch a bunch of one Pokémon in a combo and one can spawn, but... Yes, I, I guess Riolu then. I changed my mind. Riolu it is. Get, get, get fucked, Azrael. Riolu exists. See, I don't think I would count Elekid and Magby as baby Pokemon. I'd say they're the same type of Pokemon as Scrafty, in that they're a, um... They're an adolescent Pokemon. You know? Like, they're not babies. Like, they're- 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 they're young, but they ain't babies. I don't know. Honestly, the concept of baby Pokemon is just kind of silly. The whole point of baby Pokemon is they're supposed to be worthless until you grind them up enough to evolve. And it's like... What's the point? See, that's and that's fair, and that'd be something to work towards if I if if this game was competitive, but as far as I'm aware it's not. One look at this self scope and it's plain to see. Self code definitely has the technology and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. It means to let you see what otherwise cannot be seen. Nothing but a useless toy. Still, yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer, and we their plans to take over Self Code for Team Rocket. So, oh, it's a, this is a fucking, oh, shit. This is going to be a two-parter battle. Shit balls. Fucking, it's Psyduck. I, I think that's the point. Well, balls. Um... Get in there, Shinzet! Don't die! I said don't die! Oh dude, live action Bonnet gets that shit a fucking... Oh god damn it! Why do I keep you around, Kadabra? Like, why do I fucking keep you around? Oh, I feel like Shinzet's getting out the party when we have access to the fucking Hitmons. It, it's just too much of a glass fucking cannon.
Oh boy, you're using flamethrower against a rock type. Why was that not... not effective? The fuck? Stop that shit. Miss me with that gay shit. Oh, dude, fucking Hypno's the rapist Pokemon. Uh, it's a Golbat, eh? Get struck by Evium. I think Air Slash is a special move. Yep, yeah, that's a special move. Get fucked, Golbat, you piece of garbage. Yeet. That ass's mom fucked Mr. On. You fucking know she does. Fucking know she does. She's fucking Professor Oak with Mr. Mime on the side. Obvious. I also I love how Giovanni is always kept with his fucking eyes covered. Like so far. Like, we know who it is. The games came out in 95 in Japan. Like fucking you see that shit? Like it's obvious like it's very clear they're doing oh. He's such a mysterious man, but it's like, who the fuck doesn't know who Giovanni is? Who the fuck doesn't know who Giovanni is? Okay, so Giovanni's team, if I remember right, starts with a right horn, so I should probably not have a fire type in the frickin' first slot. So, you defeated Archer! I must say, I am impressed you got here! Rocket Team Rocket captures Pokémon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni! So, what, you want me to release the Cubone? That man fucks Persians. Look at that fucking pick- look at that fucking paint me like one of your fucking- Kalos girls Persian in the fucking background. You came barging into our hideout just for that? What an amusing child. You're as though you should feel a world of pain. What about the former he's a former fighter type gym leader? Oh gee. That man that man fucks. Persian specifically. Huh. Didn't expect him to lead with a Persian, because he doesn't actually have one in the game. Like in, in Fire Red. Or Red, I guess. Not Fire Red, Red Red. Yeah, I got nothing to fight that with, like, super effectively, so... Okay, Water Gun. Please stop. Yeah, no, that's not working. That's not- that's not happening. Uh, L, get in there. I mean, it's way more obvious in this game because... Because th we're not using sprites anymore. We're using... We're, we're, we're using actual fucking models of children and adults. Can you not? Hit the slash for fuck's sake. Alright, get the super soaker. I, can... I mean at least he's doing the Persians the Persian strat, right? <laughs> Like, the, how, that, this is how you use Persian, except you normally use Swords Dance first. 
You use Swords Dance and then you just spam Slash. I could send out Shoji, but nah. Oh wait, I got rid of the... I'm fucking stupid. I'm fucking stupid. I forgot I got rid of the water type move. Woof, alright. That's donut, that's dumb. Donut, that's dumb and you know it's dumb. Ash's dad is Professor Oak. <laughs> because you know he's fucking your mom. But no, like fucking Ash's Ash doesn't need a dad and they never thought of it. Like fucking Same thing in all the other Pokemon games. You don't have a dad unless the dad is story relevant. Which, you know, isn't canon, but alright. So I too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that Cubone. And take this as my apology for mocking you as a. Ch you know what? I give Giovanni shit, but. You come to me on the day of my Persian's wedding. And you defeat me in honorable combat. As a show of good faith, I give you this Cubone. And this self scope. You could do well in the family, kid. Keep it up. He's that one guy that Richie ran in. You know what? That makes sense. I shall step aside this time. But I hope we will meet and battle again. Alright. And Cubone's going back to... Just going... Just, just going fucking... Yeah, he's got... Fucking sexy painting of a Persian, and then just a regular ass painting of a Rhyhorn. I feel like we can guess who fucking Giovanni's favorite fucking Pokemon is. Emphasis on the fucking. Jimmy Hashido would join Team Rock. Jimmy Hashido, 110% member of Team Rocket. Hey kid, I got these Pokemon Dojins. You want one? You've been challenged by Do by Team Rocket Dojin seller Jimmy Hoshido. Bruno, oh god, fucking stop reminding me about all these things from Pokemon that are actually pretty neat. Pokemon, Pokemon, like has lost most of its goodwill from me. At least the anime has. I don't imagine if I just say this. I say that this is a secret technique, and I really turn this. No one's try it. Seems a courageous young girl. Secret technique, Sky Dash. Please. Evie wants to fly my invention instead of you? Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. Alright, let's get right into it. Dude. What? The fuck? Please. What the fucking hell? You can fly to any town you've been to. You have this machine, make sure to I don't want to live on this fucking planet anymore. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? All right. So that's the end of H. That's the end of HMs. Then that's the end of the ride pager. Just your EV just learns how to fucking fly with balloons. Alright, let's try this shit out. I 
I can't go to Saffron, right? Where's Fuchsia? Go Plateau, Victory Road. Where's Fuchsia City at? There's Cinnabar. Depot Islands. Wow, I didn't I didn't realize Fuchsia was all the way to the south. Fuck. Whoa! I... Okay, it's been a while since I played a Kanto game. I didn't realize that the tunnel from Cerulean to Vermilion just went totally underneath Saffron, and I... J oh my god, I feel like I've, I'm the fucking slowest poke in the goddamn cave. Holy shit. This got really dumb. Really quickly. But you know what? I'm fine with it. Oh, hi, E-Rag. So that's Cubone's mom? That's right. Team Rocket is going after Marowak so, it's, so it can sell those skulls they wear for pro... Marowak's skull is part of its head. Marowak's skull is part of its fucking head. You could take off a Cubone's skull, but not a Marowak's. All right, let's go, Irag. Oh boy. All right, let's use technology to defeat ghosts. I can catch a ghastly here. Spooky, scary. Yeah, they're called ghost-type Pokemon. You fucking tard. Oh, that's a big boy! Wait, where'd that Haunter go? Where'd that fucking Haunter go? I, I should've put Shin Zed up front, shit. Yeah, fucking... Team Rocket's a lot for being so incompetent. Team Rocket is way darker than you than you think. Like surprisingly so. Like everyone's like, ah, oh, look at all these goofy fox, ha 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 ha. But it's like, no, we're decapitating Pokemon. Like fuck. It's like ain't that a bitch? God, fucking sucker punch. I feel like because Psychic was so strong in the first gen, like, every gen after they've added more and more ghost moves and, and like, dark moves, they just fucking just cock Psychic types. Uh, hey, Venusaur! 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 Ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da. Now, better. Now, the question is can I ride on it? Can I ride on Venusaur? What does Pedal Dance do again? Oh, fuck that. Nah, oh, fuck Pedal Dance. I hate Pedal Dance. Let's put Shin Zed up front. Ah, uh, I can't ride on Venusaur. God damn it. Uh, to gift to baby Cubones. That's what they're fucking used for. You give them to baby Cubones. <laughs> God damn it! Now I'll take this fucking berry, you sack of garbage. 
shitty thing is, there's no point in having a fucking Haunter, because I can't make a Gengar, because I don't have anyone to trade with. And online trading doesn't fucking work, because you can't just do it by friend code, which would make sense. Alright, so that's gonna be a cleanse tag, I'm pretty sure, unless they changed it. I don't know how a cleanse tag would work, we just make less Pokémon spawn on a map, maybe? Oh boy! A Poison Ghost type, what will ever will I do? Maybe I'll just use a fucking laser beam. God, like fucking, I like Kadabra, but by God, does its defense fucking blow! Like I can, I can use candies to make it better, but it'll always be an uphill fucking battle. And even then, I'm gonna have to replace it with a fucking fighting type at some point, because I need the coverage. But like, I fucking just, I don't know. Like, someone's gotta get out the party eventually. Someone's gonna have to get out of the party eventually, and I don't know who it will be. But I need- I need Majima for the fire type. It's like, Suyu's staying because fucking it's Suyu. Shoji's staying because Blastoise is great. I like Kanji. And L- I, and L- and I can't take L out of the party. Well, I mean, I can, but I don't want to because that would be dumb. I guess using a health candy would be good. Oh god, that would be... You know what? That would be fucking gnarly as shit, but you know what? I imagine that would probably work. I guess, like, when I get when I get a Hitmon, whichever Hitmon I get, it'll, it'll probably be... It'll probably be Kanji that goes, because I, I, the fighting... The ground type is great! Actually, uh, I don't actually know, actually. I, I guess I'll have to figure it out. I guess it's the limitation of, like, only being able to use six Pokémon. Like, pfft. Yes, let me change my Pokemon. My Pokemon that fucking does double fucking effectiveness against it. Yeah, no, that'd be great. Oh, great, Sucker Punch. What a fucking great move. What a fun move that totally isn't bullshit. I love how, like, all these channelers, they're just possessed by ghosts. Just canonically, they're just possessed. Oh, jeez. Implied to be possessed by the Pokémon they're using, too. Like, that's kind of fucked. It's essentially a wild battle, but they're using a meat puppet to throw the ball. I'll just use that on Shinzet. There we go. 
Pop that off, fuck it. Hey, TM for an ability my Pokemon learns naturally. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, and there's the fucking healing thing in the middle, for fuck's sake. Forgot that was here. That's true. But then they got banished from the pose- Like, fucking- Like, what's the Chandler gonna do now that they've been beaten and they got a Pokeball full of fucking Pokemon that possessed them? Like, that's gonna be- Like, that's a Pokemon you put into the fucking hydraulic press. Ah, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Like, you fucking- You put that Pokemon in a fucking hydraulic press. And you just, then you just fucking send it to the real afterlife. Oh, come on! Is your entire moveset just being an asshole? Fucking seems to be. What's the betting that guy had curse? Okay, L's at 35. Merge yourself for a moment. Oh no. And I'm gonna go. No, god damn it. Stop it! I'm gonna go this way. There only should be a there should be a few more floors left, not that many. Fuck Tammy. Uh fuck you, Tammy. I like the Pokeball noise when it bounces off the ground. That's fucking great. What the fuck would the Pokeball have to be made of to make that noise? That's a really, like, specific sound. Dabber for this is kind of like having any psychic type for this, or even a dark type would probably just trivi just trivializes this entire fucking power. Well, no, you're you're. I think you're you're literally letting them go. You're literally you're taking them out the PC, and you're just yeeting them out into the wild and going, all right, get get lost, you fuck. It, it's why if, um, if you're fucking yourself and leaving yourself without a HM slave, uh, the game, re the, the game refuses to let them leave, which means, and puts up the message, so-and-so came back. Were they worried about you? Like, if you've only got one Pokemon that's, uh, that's got Surf, for example, and you don't teach another Pokemon Surf. Oh god damn it! I have to change up. God damn it. No, at least it's not- at least it's using that on something it's not effective against. I really need to move teleport to, like, the bottom. What? Gay porn stream, really? Really? That's- that's- that's what you're doing with- okay, fucking. 
This game's good. Uh, it uses the Pokemon Go catching mechanic, but the battles are alright. It's basically just a Pokemon Yellow remake, except the wild battles are a little bit fucky. That's... That's it. It's alright. Um, it's a little annoying that... Uh... It's a little annoying that uh, fucking, like, the trainers all have, like, one or two Pokemon. I haven't run into anyone who's got a full team of six yet, which is kind of stupid. But... Eh. Ah, shit. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, no! Mama! No, this ain't my kid. I didn't pay child support. Oh, shit. Fuck you, Coupon, you don't get to have a mom. The true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Coupon's mom! The more spirit was calm, returning to his kind and gentle nature. Deported the afterlife and fucked off. Coupon, you came just because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Coupon. Sorry for think thinking your mom was scary, Coupon. I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I want to, I'm going to go take it home. If there's someone named Fuji upstairs, then you can see him too. You sure you're okay by yourself, you bitch? What, one thing I don't like... The fucking rival is a goddamn puss. He, he, he's such a fucking sycophant. He just wants to suckle upon your fucking lady dick. And it pisses me off. Like, like, it's something that Pokemon is beginning worse and worse with. Your rival is supposed to be someone that you come to, like, not hate, but they're your rival, goddammit. It's in the name. It's in the fucking name. You're supposed to hate them. And then come to, like, respect them. Like, they're supposed to piss you off. Yeah. Like, your rival is supposed to piss you off and be something... Hey, there's Ninetales. Stop right there, we'll be going first. With Spectre out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're gonna be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Ignore us all you like, we're used to it. We won't take no for an answer. You help the boss whether you want to or not. Really, guys? We're gonna do this fucking song and dance again? We're doing this song and dance again. Like, didn't I just beat you guys not like fucking 15 minutes ago? Yeah, they, they haven't even gained any levels. Like, we just did this, guys! Oh, God. All right. Well, it's Jesse and James. In in Generation 1, all they had was Eevee. Was Eevee. Was Arbok and Weezing. Fucking really? God damn it. God damn it! Can paralyze heal. Bag. Hyper potion. For fuck's sake! What is the- okay, could, yeah, fucking Shinzet's getting out the party. Like, when I get the Hitmons, fucking Shinzet's out the party, because that's fucking stupid.
Like, there's being a glass cannon, and then there's that. Fucking... Then, I'm pretty sure fucking Kanji takes care of the fucking poison. Because I'm pretty sure ground beats poison. Hitmonlee, I don't know yet. I want to say Hitmonchan, but I also like Hitmonlee. I don't remember what the difference is. Like, is, isn't is Hitmonchan the defensive one and Hitmonlee is the glass cannon, or...? Fucking Shinzet, you can't mind control robots, Shinzet, you stupid fuck. So, I guess just for the for the sheer fact that I don't want another Pokemon that dies in one fucking hit, I should probably get Hitmonchan. Like, Hitmonlee looks really cool, but if it's a glass cannon, then fuck him. Looks like Operation Stealthily Kidnap Fuji is a bust. Really? But Team Rocket's blasting off again! Hi, Mr. Fuji. He deaf? Oh, and who might you be? Game's name for Team Rocket, thanks, I didn't even notice they were here. They've been trying to spirit of mute of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. Thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to home, it's the Pokemon house. For fuck's sake. Wait, I'm in... I'm in Lee was just called Bruce Lee and... I don't know. I don't know what they're called in Japan. So, Nozzy chan Your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it would be hard to complete such a task. I'm sure this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Oh, hey, Pokeflu. According to Pokeflu, it's sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you find a sleeping... I could get Snorlax. Not gonna use Snorlax, but I could get one. So now I gotta get to Saffron City. I think it's because Ninetales is... Ninetales is like a, is a kitsune, and kitsune in Japanese folklore, like, deal with the spirits of the dead. And all that shit. Oh my god, so... What do you think of months? Unchlax is alright. Like, I like Snorlax, but Snorlax is fucking broken, and I don't want to use it because the game's already, like, easy enough. Like, I'm at a difficulty level that I'm fine with, but Gen 1 Snorlax is fucking broken. Like, Gen 1 Snorlax... Oh yeah, Ninetales is also immortal, yeah. So, like, Gen 1 Snorlax, like, has the highest defense, the biggest move pool, and has access to rest talk. And... Yeah, no, that's fucking busted. Because in Gen 1, like, even if you rested... Like, even if you rested in Gen 1, you would still be out- you would still be asleep for like six turns. Like, in later generations, they made it so that... Uh, if you rested, it only lasted two turns. Instead of, like, the full six that, a, that like, a, 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 an opposing sleep would do. Um, so, for Snorlax in Gen 1, being able to, being, being, like, one of the only big Pokemon able to actually use Rest properly made it fucking broken, especially because it could learn Hyper Beam. So, like, you fucking load that thing up with Hyper Beam and one other, one, one other move, and just... Yeah, no. You got you, you. You're doing it. I want to get one fucking. I want to get two more levels on my fucking Vulpix. Oh god, that's that's so far off. Jesus, that's not happening. That's not that's not happening on camera. I don't think, or at least like not this stream. All right. All right. Like, I wanna get fucking Ninetales, because Ninetales is fucking great, but 
I want to get Fire Blast, because Ninetales, once Ninetales evolves, it learns Dazzling Gleam when it evolves, and nothing else. No other abilities are learned. So... Ugh. Like, that's, that, that, you boy, that's a problem. So, I'm gonna go, just go down to Vermillion over here, and I'm going to just save and quit. So, thank you all for watching, those of you that watch live, and those of you watching on the VOD, if you are watching on the VOD, then hey, you can always, uh, catch me live over at twitch.tv forward slash nazichan. And, um, tomorrow we'll be doing something else. Saturday is the grab bag day. Even I don't know what we're doing yet. Um, so that, so that's gonna be fun. Fire Blast is a TM, but I would rather just learn it naturally. I'd rather just learn it naturally, because then I can say, right, Vulpix has learned everything and got all the EVs it's supposed to get. When Bloodborne? Um, I want Bloodborne to have a proper slot, so when... So, when Persona 3 is done, the Danganronpa game is coming in, and then once this is done, by done, I mean Elite Four. I don't know if there's post-Elite Four content, but according to reviews, probably not. I, I, I'm not sure. Um, so when this is done, Bloodborne happens. Yes, Ultra Despair Girls, yes. So, so yeah, so that's, so that's the idea going forward. Uh, Ultra Despair Girls goes in this one, it goes in, um, Persona 3 spot, and then once this is done, Bloodborne. And I think I'm gonna give up on Dark Souls for a bit, because fucking Sen's Funhouse is fucking me in the dick, and I'm getting really pissed off at the fucking shitty game design. So, yeah. It, it look real cool today, I guess. So, thank you everybody for watching, um... Uh, as always, I am Nozvix, remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share, social media, hit that fucking bell! And, uh, if you want to support me monetarily, you can always support me on Twitch, uh, support me on Patreon, subscribe on Twitch, or you can feed the Cup Guardian if you're here live, and all them delicious bits. Nom, 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 nom. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. If you want to support me, I'll become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a round of